What's up, YouTube? It's Chase right here. I'll give you the next top 10 series to your Joe Brook iOS device running iOS 10. So let's get started with the video. Alright, so our first week is Color Flow 3. So Color Flow 3 does gives you a nice um different change to your lock screen playing music. So what it does it just grabs colors from the album artwork from any song you're playing and implements them to your lock screen. So as you can see, there's some blue um, buttons, there's and there's blue on the cap. And there's a lot of things so it change to a different song so as you can see it grabs nicely the colors and spreads them out throughout your lock screen so one more time so as you can see it grabs all the colors from the album artwork to your lock screen so it's all the help of color flow 3 and so our next week is color banners 2 so what color banners 2 does gives you nice colors to your notifications uh, whenever you get them so from different apps you'll get different colors so as you can see we do have the messages app and it will be a blue color we have the this app right here which will be a dark blue color you have crash report which will be a nice yellow gray uh, tint right here so every time you get a notification from, from different apps you'll get different colors so that's so that's all the help of color banners too so yeah so our next week is called build that wall so what build that wall does it actually takes the government off your device so all it does is just disables the government from actually peeking inside your device supposedly right so uh you want to go to settings once you do install that you want to go to privacy once you go all the way to the bottom we have cia fbi and nsa so you can disable these and you should be good to go so so they supposedly uh this tweak says that they cannot access your device uh the cia fbi and nsa so they cannot access your device using this tweak so if you if you have some personal stuff or you've done something wrong with your phone and install this tweak so yeah it's all the help of build that wall all right so our next week is called reform x which is an amazing tweak in my opinion because you can actually customize your home screen so as you can tell my icons have been smaller than original stock ios so as you can see, they're smaller than original stock iOS. You can have five um, column rolls. You can have so many things you can customize with this tweak right here. So it, it does enable a new application right here. It's called Reform X. And you have uh, customized dock, folders, um, home screen, music, rotation. So many things you can actually uh, customize with this tweak. And in the future updates, it will actually be um, a way to actually share um, setup so if you have a setup on your device that you did with reformix you can actually upload it to reformix uh, uh, tweak you can upload it and other people can download it. so that's in a future update but this tweak has so much potential for the future so I really do recommend this tweak download it right now customize your home screen your dock your folders almost everything on your home screen so yeah I really do recommend this tweak I'll help over reform X so our next week is Cert Remain Time. So what it does actually tells you how much time you have left um, Yalu or Match Portal Jailbreak application to expire. So you know every seven days you have to sign that uh, one Jailbreak app to actually re-enable the Jailbreak. Well yeah, this week will actually uh, tell you how, much, how many days you have left. So state certificate not found. So I have no more days to actually use the certificate. So if my phone restarts and I run, re run the Jailbreak, it's actually going to crash my device. So it's not going to work. It's going to crash the application and I have to redo it all the time. So this is a really great tweak. If you actually know how, how much time you have left to actually re-sign that um, Yalu application. It's all the help of Surrey Remain Time. It was a really great tweak if you want to know how much time you have left for your Yalu or Match Portal Jailbreak application. So our next tweak is called I Caught You Pro. So what I Caught You Pro does actually uh, it's better than find my iPhone. So what it does if so if someone types in the passcode wrong It would take a front-facing picture of the person and send you the location through your email So uh, let's say I put it wrong my password It will send me an email with a picture of the guy who's actually put it wrong, put it wrong the password and will send me the location so this is a very great tweak so once you download it um you want to click on the application it will give you the application it'll ask you to put in a passcode i already did and you have general um email sms wrong password power down lock uh, remote commands and more so you can disable them from actually powering down your device you can activate power saving mode um you can do so many things when your phone is lost and technically I've used this before back in my iPhone 6. They actually stole my iPhone, um, I think it was last year, and I had iCatchu Pro, and it was like at least 
two miles away from me. So I went, I told the guy, he has my iPhone. And he was ignoring, he was saying no, 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 until I played the sound uh, with finding my iPhone. And he just gave it to me. He felt bad and he just gave it to me. And yeah, so that's a weird story. I actually use iCaught You Pro, and it's a very great tweak. I really do recommend you guys actually use, using this tweak. So yeah, it's all help of iCaught You Pro, a lightsaber tweak for you guys to actually use. Our next week is called Kota Kota 10. Kota 10, and what it does actually um, takes away everything that's round on your device. So everything that's rounded or something like that will take it and make it square. So my notifications, if you can see right there, they're square, they're not rounded. Um, the control center toggles, these are rounded because they're enabled, but when they're not rounded, as you can see, they turn to square. So I'm gonna turn off Wi Fi, and it'll turn just to a square. Uh, what else? My messages, messages turns also to a square. So let me uh, load up a message. Uh, I'll load it this way. And as you can see, this just turn square. And yeah, a lot of things turn square, and the toggles, as you can see, they turn square. And let me turn that off. As you can see, everything turns square. And yeah, there's a lot of things that turn square with this. And it's just if you don't like the round feeling of iOS, you can just make it into a square. So yeah, it's all the help of Kotak, whatever it's called, it will be up in your screens right now. So our next week is called Harp. So what Harp does, it just gives you haptic feedback when switching between your music on your control center. So it will just give you a nice uh, little vibration on your device every time you switch a song. But this only works on the iPhone 6s and above. So the iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, the 7 and 7 Plus because they do have the new Taptic engine. So yeah, so I hope of Harp. If you have those devices, this is a great tweak. It feels really nice. So our next tweak is called 3D color changes. So what it does, if you 3D touch any device, you can actually change the color of your 3D touch toggle. So go to Twitter, as you can see, it will just change all the toggles to the colors I set. So we go to the settings right here, we can actually change all of these. So um, change that to red. Let's change this to um, pinkish and this to blue. And let's see our new creations. So, as you can see, it just added this new color. So yeah, if you have a 3 touch enabled device, I really do recommend this tweak because it's a very nice uh, customizable tweak that you can actually use for your 3 touch toggles. All right, so our last and final tweak is called Shot Border 10. So what this does actually, every time you take a screenshot, you will not get a white flash on your screen. All you, all you will get is a notification. So you click on yes, and there it is. So screenshot is saved. So yeah. So as you can see, one more time, and as you can see, we get a notification that we took a screenshot. So yeah, it's a very great tweak if you don't like the white uh, flash in your face. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe more to videos, come your way, cheeks, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.